Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm here with another small shop haul. I have a series of these videos here on my channel that'll be linked in the playlist below but if this is your first time seeing one in these videos I just go through and kind of do a little mini showcase and unboxing of various uh, things I've gotten in from small shops in the diamond painting and crafting world. I really enjoy and love supporting small shops in the community and would love to encourage you to do so as well. And so in addition to the actual shops themselves below, I'll also link to their social media, um, you know, joining their Facebook group or following and favoriting their shop on Etsy or following them on Instagram. Those are really great ways to support a small shop that don't involve spending any money whatsoever, but can still make a really nice difference for uh, these families. So I have quite a pile of packages to share with you all today, including one that is from a new to me shop and one that is from a shop I haven't ordered from in quite a while. So I'm looking forward to sharing those with you today. And I suppose without further ado, let's go ahead and start opening these up. So the first package I'm going to share with you, wait, where was it? Oh, it's this one over here. <laughs> I was like, I remember the shop name. I didn't remember what the package looked like. But this particular package, this is from Yuzo Momo Crafts. I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that at all. I actually heard about this shop from my friend Jamie, who's Jamie Paints on Instagram. And she's a fellow pen aficionado and hoarder like I am. And um, so I had favorited this shop on Etsy a while back and I don't know if they maybe I think maybe they took a, a little break but then they came back recently and I saw that they added some new pens to the shop and they had one that really really caught my eye and I'm excited to to have that to share with you today so it looks like okay I see my invoice let me just double check that really quick and then move it off to the side okay perfect so it looks like she included a card and it says thank you so much for your purchase and oh that's so sweet <laughs> i never know if people know that i'm are gonna recognize my name and know that i have a channel it looks like the owner's name is mari so um i always order you know under my name but look at the cute packaging it's like a it's like christmas like a little christmas gift oh my gosh that is so pretty okay look at the cute like themed packaging look you get a little label that tells you what the pen name is and the blank maker and the date that it was made. I've never had something like this included with a pen purchase before. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love the on theme little flower inclusion. There are, oh, there's a magnet, there's magnets on the back. You use this as a cover minder. And this is the pen that I got. So again, the name of it is Tangerine Net. It's kind of a little bit on the thick, thick side of medium, I'd say as far as turning goes, but just Oh my gosh, all the pretty oranges. It looks like flames and it is just gorgeous. The oranges and yellows and browns. So, 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 so pretty. I love it. And I love a new to me pen shop. It's really comfortable to hold. Um, and I will definitely be trying this out in a whip and chat soon. I do try to try out especially new to me shops. Um, those products in Whip and Chat, so I can kind of give you some real-time um, thoughts and feedback. So be sure to check check back in one of my weekly Whip and Chats. I put those up on Mondays. So yay, new to me shop. That was a Yuzo Momo Crafts. And what did I do? I was like, okay, there's a little little divot in the packaging here. Okay, perfect. So very excited. Love a new to me shop. Uh, by the way, if you love pens this video is going to have a number of them so i'm excited for that the next thing i want to open up is something from a shop that i actually have not purchased from in a while and it's sensible by design and they recently it seems like have shifted over to mostly selling on facebook as opposed to etsy so i'll link to their facebook group below but i had just happened to oh there's my address let me not show you that side okay um to to see a post from their facebook group pop up and it had a list of various putty scents and you could claim them and then get like a, a paypal invoice basically for it and so i grabbed a few scents because i have used and really enjoyed their putty uh for a while and i think I, oh, I did get a wax as well didn't i that looks like that's wax did i order wax you guys it's been a while i actually don't remember she may have included a free wax with the order so i i'm sorry i do not remember um but anyway there's a little sticker free inclusion 
They ship out of Canada. And I think this was maybe a freebie. This is wax in the scent hazelnut latte. It's been a while since I've used their wax, but I do remember having a good experience with their wax. So great, love that. And then I decided to get four different putty scents. Okay, I've used their putty quite a lot before and I've had a really nice experience with it. Um, so vanilla caramel coffee, butter rum, chocolate coconut, and unicorn poop. <laughs> Those are the putty scents. If I were gonna compare this to other putties, which I, I've tried a ton of different putties, um, these are um, a little less soft than the putties that you'll see come in like the square packets. These are a little bit less soft. You do kind of have to use, I either will use like a pair of tweezers or even like my fingernail or, so, or the flat end of tweezers rather, um, to kind of scoop it out and then roll it and load it into my pen. But I do find that they're, their putty is a bit less soft and almost like a little bit, I don't really want to use the word dry because I don't know that that's really, I'm afraid I'm going to miscommunicate with that. But I feel like if you work in a climate where you're finding that other putties are too soft for you, maybe give Sensible Design a try. Sensible by design, I'm sorry. <clears throat> that's a really pretty swirly putty. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I use putty in my multi-placer. So you'll see me use this in a multi-placer soon. And it smells really good. It's not, it's not at all heavily scented. Now, to be fair, I am, I am a little bit recovering from being under the weather, and so my sense of smell, not a hundred percent. So I'm not going to try to give you like a really strong reaction to the scent profile on those. I'll just say that it's not overpowering. I have not found their scents to be particularly overpowering. So, anyway, like I said, I believe they're selling through their Facebook group, a Facebook group now. So I'll have that linked below. Feel free to to check it out. Next up, I am so embarrassed to tell you how long I've had this package for. I have said um, in response to some feedback from you guys, which I super appreciate, I'm always open to feedback, um, that you would be interested in seeing me maybe try to be a little bit more on top of small shop hauls because then things that I'm unboxing with you, that you know, you're not going to shop for them and it's like, well, that was months ago and so it's not, not there anymore. So I promise I'm gonna try to be more on top of it. In the case of this one, don't think it's particularly going to matter because this shop, just the way that things sell out, it's kind of a non-issue in my opinion. But let me explain. This is from November. Uh-huh. It's from Unimade. And this is, um, there's some trays in here that I picked up during one of her drops. Now, Munimade is one of the shops that they do sell out really quickly. They're highly popular, most well-known for their diamond painting trays. So they also have diamond painting kits that are... In my opinion, fantastic, top-notch quality. And um, their trays, she she has a custom list and it is long, admittedly, it is very long, but you can still join it <laughs> and um, she will she'll get to it eventually. But I also recommend following uh, Muni Made on Twitter, Instagram, join their Facebook group because, let me take a quick look, okay. Um, because she will do restocks and um, she'll post the notification on the Twitter, which is now X. She'll post it there first. And then it's just, you just go. She doesn't really have a set date and time for restocks and it's kind of ever evolving. She has a new baby. There's a lot going on there. Um, so I just recommend following her socials and that's the best way to sort of get information about these. But here is business card and all of that. And then, yes, the freebie, literally Thanksgiving themed because I bought this in mid-November, so. Eek. And then here is this little thank you note. And these were new colors when she dropped them. And they are available to order if you get on the customs list and it comes to you, I believe. Another way you can get your hand on Muni Made trays is if you get a kit, there is an option to upgrade to a premium tool kit and you can get a, she, she determines the color that's going to go with it, but you can add on a tray. Um, and that is, you know, one surefire, low stress way to get your hands on a mean made tray and try it out and see if, if it's for you. And so that's just, those are the different ways you can try to get your hands on trays. This color, this one is, let me check. Um, okay. So this is one of the mermaid fin. It's one of the specialty gradient colors. And this is the one that is bluish ingredient and it came as a set it is sparkly came with a lid and a stopper 
me made on the side. And yeah, I, I snagged one with the bluish filament and one with the pinkish filament. And you guys, I I didn't get any special treatment. I just have alerts set up on my phone and um, happened to see this as soon as that went live. And I think I used Apple Pay from the listing page to check out as quickly as possible. And then this one is, I think this is the pink, is this the, let me see. Oops. <laughs> this is pink petal, I believe. And I think this is a translucent color, technically. Let me see. I'm looking at my invoice over there. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, it is. It's kind of slightly translucent. You can kind of see my hand through the back there. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Um, I do reach for Mini Made Trays a lot. I've been collecting Mini Made Trays for three years now. It is taking me quite some time <laughs> uh, to amass my collection. And even at this point, I miss... I miss out on these restocks or get cart snatched every bit as often as I don't. So I'm right in there with in the thick of it with you guys not getting any special treatment. I'm just shopping frantically alongside you. <laughs> okay, so then this one is another one in that mermaid fin color. Oh, maybe the other one was pinkish and this one was bluish. I don't remember. But they have slightly different gradients going on here. Um, but both really pretty. Oh, I love that pink to blue there. <gasps> so pretty. The stoppers slide in and out really easily too. Oops, let me just smack the recording arm. So yes, I've had these for a while. <laughs> and now here we are. They're finally here and I've had the chance to unbox them. So Muni made trays, new trays to add to my collection. Okay, let me see. I'll save the pens for last. I have, I have some more wax. I have some washi tape and then I have four more pens. Okay, let's do the wax. And we'll do the washi tape and so on. So this wax that's in here, this is from Whimsical Daisies, is the shop on Etsy. They sell a product called Not Your Mama's Mud. It is one of the waxes that I frequently will reach for for my single placer. They don't have a set restock time, um, unfortunately. They, I just favorite their Etsy shop and I check back as regularly as I, as I can. Cute little freebies. And um, at this point, I have most of the colors, <laughs> uh, scents rather. She just puts little random stickers on top. These scents, Through the Woods and Christmas Tree. <laughs> I think I got these in December. So I really enjoyed them in my single placer. Okay, it definitely smells like pine, um, even to my stuffy nose. Um, this lasts a nice long time in my single placer. It, it's similar in consistency to pink wax and you can use it in your multi-placer as well. I just tend to prefer putty personally, but yeah, so that's a couple of new waxes, new to me waxes anyway, from, um, from Not Your Mama's Mud, well, from Whimsical Daisies is the name of the shop. Not Your Mama's Mud is the name of the product. Okay, so next up, you guys, I have an order from Simply Gilded. How long ago is this one from? A while ago. I think this is from um, a sale that they ran, maybe. I don't... This is another case of I don't remember what's going to be in here, but I'm very much looking forward to finding out alongside all of you. <laughs> all right, don't see any other spots. It is sealed. Simply Gilded has washi tape and other fun stationery and journaling accessories. Yep, there's my invoice right on the top there. Let me see what I picked up. Oh, I did manage to get my hands on the... <laughs> this is... Oh, this is hysterical. My memory... It, you guys... It's truly terrible. It's completely terrible and awful. I was so bummed because I'm not kidding you. I was on the Simply Gilded website, not to do the food blog thing where I'm telling you a story, but here I am. Um, on the Simply Gilded website, last week or the week before, and I was like, oh, look at that. They have a Year of the Dragon bundle. Oh shoot, it's sold out. That's such a bummer. I missed out on that. You guys, I know my invoice says is in here is the Year of the Dragon bundle, so. <laughs> Wow. Okay, past Katie. Thanks for, for doing the most. And it looks like I got this in December, right? Yes. And I think that I crossed a threshold. I think that this was free because I don't see this on my invoice. And I feel like they were doing a thing where they were maybe giving these away, these little albums. I don't remember, but these are really cute. If you're like me and you're afraid to put stickers on surfaces because then they're permanent and forever. Um, I will sometimes put stickers in these kinds of albums because then I get to like enjoy and appreciate them, but they're not like stuck on something forever and ever. Um, so let me show you what I have in here. So I did get, okay. 
So I got some of this Stardust washi tape. Oh my gosh, it's like purple raspberries or grapes. It's so pretty. I love the Stardust washi tape. If you're wondering how washi tape kind of comes into play when it comes to diamond painting, I have a video dedicated to just that question where I can answer that for you. So I will have that linked below. And then I got, um, oh, that's part of the Year of the Dragon bundle. Yay. And then this is like a wintry woods. And then I believe these are all part of the Year of the Dragon bundle as well. Oh my gosh, Year of the Dragon, everything. <laughs> I love it. If I would have remembered that that was in here, I would have saved it for um, a dragon related video. I might have to just add these in because I'm trying to do like one video a month that's specifically related to dragony things <laughs> for the Year of the Dragon. Uh, so it did come with this journaling card and then, oh my gosh, the sticker set was part of the year of the dragon bundle, channel your inner dragon. Oh my gosh. So if you like planners and journaling and whatnot, and then here were some freebies and then, oh my gosh, year of the dragon journaling card and a set of stickers. I am so delighted <laughs> that, that I, I somehow, I did buy these when they released <laughs> without even just truly realizing it. So hooray for that. I'm not gonna be mad about it. I'm just gonna just chuckle at myself and go, well, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right, you guys. The rest of the mail I have to share with you guys today is pen mail. And this first one I'm gonna share with you guys, look at that iridescent packaging. This is from House of Rainbows and they sell on in a Facebook group and I think the majority of their pens are sold as um, like name picker, like random number generator type sales. So um, I think, can you also send bl a blanks to them to have turned? I'll have to double check or I'll just ask you know you guys to take a look in their Facebook group where they have all those details. But I tend to enter for pens when it's like, you know, random number generator, just put my name in and hope that I get lucky to get picked. Sometimes I do, most of the times I don't, which is totally fine. So looks like we got a bag of freebies here, some cute rainbowy stickers. I think that's a rainbow cover minder, you guys. Um, a thin, pla oh, here's the, the tips, the thin plastic and the single tip, and some candies. And the pen itself, they make really beautiful pens. A lot of them are rainbowy. Not all of them are, but they do make really, really gorgeous pens. I have a couple. And now I have another one to add to my collection. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's right. Look at how beautiful this pen is. I thought this was just so gorgeous. It looks like a plume of smoke. That is absolutely beautiful. I really am a sucker for getting pens or accessories that are nothing like I have in my collection already. And this is a stunner. Look at the beautiful turning too. What a gorgeous pen. I love it. Okay, so that is pen number one. Next up, I have a pen here from Diamond Pen Pal. Oh, <laughs> repeat customers are the best. It's been a little while since I have bought from Diamond Pen Pal. I don't know. How long is it? And I'm actually maybe not too, too long. But anyway, I'm pretty sure what's in here is one of their artist and per inspiration set pens where they've actually worked with some artists and diamond painting shops uh, to create um, pen blanks and pens that are inspired by specific artwork. And I love that they're really trying to be above board with this and make sure that they are getting the permission of the artist and of the original shop and everything. Uh, so I'll show you that in just a moment, but here are the freebies. We have some candies, um, some stickers, <laughs> that's fun. And then uh, some tea and some hand and body lotion, nice. That's fun. And then the pen itself, take a look. I believe that this one is gonna be, oh, there's the tips, inspired by one of the Margaret Morales kits at Diamond Art Club. I think this is the one that's inspired by Satura, but let me open it up and we'll see. But you can see they're really transparent about it. They'll say on the listings and whatnot that you know, they have the artist's permission, they have the, the shop's permission. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I just, I cannot, I almost sometimes have to rip these, these black bags. Let me see. And I might have to cut this open. Hold on, you guys. Or just Hulk smash it open. Nope. There it is. Okay. Kind of. All right. Ooh, that is pretty. Yes, so this is inspired by the, by the artwork Satura from Diamond Art Club and Margaret Morales. You can see like the gold stars in there. The swirls of purple and blue. So incredibly gorgeous. And I did get this one with a roll stop. I think this was the company that originated this concept of like a flat side on one of the pens, which especially if you work on like an angled surface, it's nice because your pen's not going to roll. It's just going to sit there, which is, you know, uh, is a nice little um, addition feature. And I have found, because I do get asked this, if um, I find that to be uncomfortable or affect like my holding a pen. And I truly don't notice it. It sits very comfortably against my fingers. And I've never noticed it as an issue. It feels very comfortable. So, so pretty. I have one or two other pens from them and they're artist inspiration series. So yay for another one. I love those Margaret Morales kits that Diamond Art Club has. So that's a really fun addition to have. The last two uh, packages I have here are from Butterfly Effect Wears. And oh, by the way, Diamond Pen Pal has an Etsy shop and they have a really wide variety of blanks. And I think that you can, maybe, maybe you can contact them for custom requests as well. And the owners are incredibly, incredibly sweet. So please check them out if you haven't already. <laughs> this, these last two packages are from Butterfly Effect Wears. Butterfly Effect Wears does weekly drops on, on Saturdays. And they usually will preview the blank on Mondays, Sundays or Mondays. And then they'll, you know, throughout the week, they'll kind of show you updated, like, okay, here's how it looks. One of these pens looks turned. And then Saturday morning, they will do a post on their socials that are like, here are all of the pens turned and, and they are all, are all numbered. So you can kind of decide which one you might want to try for. Their pens typically sell out very quickly. And so I recommend, you know, being on your computer um, or phone, being ready to check out as quickly as possible because they go quick, but they make really pretty pens and they have a variety of turning styles and shapes. I tend to go for the regular turnings, um, like size wise. Here's some freebies. And, and this is another shop that honestly I miss as often as I snag them because they go quick. Um, we do, I often will get the coordinating putty because they do make a dot dot putty and they'll make ones that coordinate both with the weekly pen like colorway and they'll also make other other scents and styles as well that they just sell individually this one is in the lucky birthday scent it smells really good oops just drop that <laughs> sorry you guys a little bit klutzy um compared to sensible by design putty just since they're both here their putty is I, that's kind of what I'd describe as maybe a little bit softer putty and it's completely subjective which which kind of putty you're going to be partial to what works for you as a diamond painter and your climate all right oh my goodness I just love the blues and the coppers in this one and that's sparkle my goodness gorgeous and I do love the turning style they do a nice like smooth and shiny polish and finish on their pens very comfortable to hold and so pretty so this one is the lucky birthday and that one was from earlier in January <laughs> and last but not least I have another package here from butterfly effect wears that is from uh mid-January no this is end of December oh my <laughs> Um, I do not remember what colorway this one was. We'll take a look below. Um, they do have a Facebook group, which I think is the main place that they uh, will post the kind of spread of turned pens if you want to try to plan ahead on which, which one you're going to try to go for on the Saturday uh, drop when it goes live. My invoice is always on top, so let me pull this. Okay. This is gonna tell me, okay, this one is gonna be the Precious Metals colorway. 
I cannot resist a metallic. <laughs> they're just, they're like the, honestly, like the perfect neutral, in my opinion. Okay, so precious metals, putty, and some freebies. And I love that they even coordinate the tissue paper and the sticker sometimes. I'm just gonna rip this one right open. Gorgeous. I love all the different colors of metallic flakes, like the copper, gold, and silver. And then the hybrid style with like the other swirls at the end. Oh my gosh. And a different turning style on this one. But I do like that a lot. Precious metals. That is another butterfly effect wears pen. And I love all the pens on this one, you guys. <laughs> so in this small shop haul, let me just do a really quick recap for you here. Um, we had this new to me shop, Yuzo Momo Crafts, and I cannot wait to try out this pen. It is so pretty. Um, and then we had pens from Diamond Pen Pal, House of Rainbows, and then two from Butterfly Effect Wears, along with some coordinating putty. And then we had some washi tape, including Year of the Dragon washi tape from Simply Gilded. And then these trays are all from Muni Made. Then we had some putty and wax from Sensible by Design and some wax from Not Your Mama's Mud. So, oh, I love a small shop haul, you guys. <laughs> They're just so, so fun. And I hope that you enjoyed getting into all of these small shop goodies along with me. Like I said, you're going to find all of the the links to these shops down in the description box below this video and i also want to mention like i usually try to remember to mention earlier in my videos that if you own a small shop or know of a small shop that you would like to see me check out and try please let me know you can either leave a comment or send me an email and i'm looking to make a purchase and support a small shop i am not asking anyone to send me anything for free i would much rather um make a purchase support a small business and then share it with you guys so please let me know i always love to find out more and i have a working list just please do keep in mind as much as i'm going to try to be a little bit more prompt and on it with with these small shop hauls and when things come in i'm going to try to play some catch up here um I, it may take me a little bit to make a purchase and share the share these with you but i promise i am doing my very very best but I hope you enjoyed getting to see, like I said, all of these small shop goodies. Let me know your thoughts below. Have you tried any of these small shops before? Are you going to go add them to your uh, shopping list, Etsy favorites, website bookmarks? <laughs> um, I'd love to hear from you below. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see lots more diamond painting related content from me. I do lots of unboxings, of accessories and kits, reviews, weekly whip and chats. And I'd love to have you here. So you guys, I hope you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.